Hey everyone, Josh here. I was doing a quick video on immobilizer defeat or deletes on some EDC 16 ECUs. So this one here specifically is an EDC 16U31 uh, on in BEW cars. And this one here, EDC 16U34 found in BRM cars. So if you watched my previous videos, I did it with a uh, VAG commander via OBD with my bench harness. Um, I believe these you can do it with VAG dash can, which I don't have, so I am not showing it in this video. But what I do use is K tag. There's the version number, and to do that, you need to get onto the circuit board with a clip. So unfortunately you do have to open up the case this method. So if you're keeping track, you obviously need, you need an ECU, K tag, you need a clip and the positioning table, which both of those are fairly cheap. cheap. You don't want a heat gun to get the sealant broken loose. And obviously a laptop of your choice. So I'll throw this on the bench harness first and we'll show where to see if the mobilizer is active or not. And then I'll do a quick video on where to heat and how to get it to split. So here's the BRM ECU. It's plugged into my harness that I made up. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on this one. If you want to know how to make a free harness using scrapyard parts, you can just check out the earlier video. I'll put it in the drop down or whatever. So plugged into BCDS. Go to engine. So quickly you can check fault codes. There's only going to be eight, which is kind of surprising since nothing's plugged into it. But that's how you know it's not bricked or anything like that, is it's still communicating with it good. So you can go to adaptation, mobilizer status, which this one comes up as four. So disabled, it should say one, immobilizer matched should be four. So that is saying that the immobilizer is still active on the CCU. So next up we'll split it and uh, do a read. So you're gonna need a T15 Torx bit to get the four screws out on the BRM. And same deal on the BEW, there's except for six of them. You're gonna wanna heat around the edge here as well as this area. So here's an open case so you can see what you're kind of doing. It's glued along here as well as just along that outside edge. So that's kind of the areas you want to heat up and then get a small screwdriver and start prying. Um, yeah, you want to get it fairly warm. Makes life a lot easier and less likely to flex the sheet or flex the circuit board a bit there. So. I guess the more heat, the better to a certain degree. So here's our two ECUs opened up. So next, we're gonna get the K tag set up. So you've got this spring-loaded clip here. So then the K tag will come with the 
ribbon cable that you need to plug it in. You're gonna have a power adapter and a USB for your laptop. So that's pretty self-explanatory. So as far as hooking, or not hooking it up, but as far as the contact, you got these six little programming pads, the top left, I guess. Same thing with here. So you're gonna wanna start right to left. So this clip here has 10 contacts, two rows of five. So this has more than that. So you're gonna start at the right. And uh, yeah, let KTAG do the rest. So let's get started. So here's the BRM ECU on here. So there's the contact pads. You can see you have four that you didn't use. Then you got it plugged into your wall as well as your laptop. So now I'll switch, uh, switch to a screen view and uh, we'll walk through there. So you're going to go to protocols, the MPC5XX. You're going to scroll down. So it's Bosch EDC 16 plus. And we're working on Volkswagen, obviously, so it's VAG. You can just read through there if you want. Oh, let's try that again. So for the BRM, you need P67, you hit OK, so, oh, again, so for just deleting the immobilizer, you only need the EEPROM read, but if you're going to be doing a lot of tuning and not using genuine tools, it doesn't hurt to have a full backup, so we'll do a full read on this one. Probably fast forward through this section because it sometimes takes a bit of time. There we go. So now you can follow it, call it whatever you want. So Save it. We'll save them all separately. There we go. EDC calculator. I'm gonna go to load. So we're gonna look for all files. BRM EDC 16. EPR would be your EEPROM. So we're gonna open it. Go off. We're gonna save that. So now we're gonna go to write. EEPROM only. Writing successful, so there we go. So we'll exit out of that, cancel out of there. So now you can take that out of there. Um, while I've got the screen recording running, I'll do the BRM next. There we go. So same thing. You got four pads you're not using. So I'll switch back to the screen recording here. So protocols. Again, the MPC 5XX. Go down to EDC plus VAG again. 
Okay, so this one for the BEW, we need P96. Gonna hit okay. So just for time's sake, we'll just uh, read the EE prom. Save that. So again, go to the calculator. EEW EEPROM. So this one I've already been into, so the mobilizer is already shut off. So you would basically you'd go back into the writing, you click EEPROM and then you put your save file, the exact same as what we just did on the BRM. So that's that. I'm going to end the screen recording and we'll start, we'll plug it back into the bench harness. So here's our BRM ECU back on, hooked up to VCDS. So same as before, go to select. engine all codes it's still talking so that's a good sign got an adaptation ah oh, you can see that is now changed to a one so the mobilizer is disabled so now that's should run without the correct key or cluster, so that should be ready for a swap. So next we'll plug into the BEW and we'll check it too. So here's the BEW hooked up the VCDS. So go to engine. Go to all codes so you can see. Great, you can go to adaptation. Again, that's changed to a one. That should pop up, same as the BRM. Mobilizer disabled. So there, so now we have the BRM and the BEW mobilizer defeated, and they should be ready for uh, swaps.